to the channel and a different kind of video an animal tour for 2023 so i'm going to show you every single animal i own starting off with the spiders so we have over 20 different tarantulas all female barring a true spider and four juveniles so a lot of them are all mixed um i've got a couple of arboreal species pocopheria regalis indian ornamental and caribbean versicolor and tilly's pink toe on top of there we've got a phona palma simani and nandu chromatis down here we've got a mixture of spiders and a scorpion we've got two scorpions as well so that back section is a lot of my terrestrials so we've got a davalorus pentalorus we've got a um tito cow vaggins Clona Paramus Yankubescence, Green Bottle Blue, and Orphanaceous SPC Boo, and Campuscaria Gina Colata, Brazilian White Knee. Different enclosures as well, obviously, as you can see. Obviously, you can see half of plastic and half of these Komodos. I eventually want to get most of my tarantulas in these Komodos. So we've got a little Komodo in there, and that's an unsexed juvenile Tajara Sandery. We've got an Orphanaceous SPC boo in here. Down there, we've got a hard Pacteria, Pulpies, uh, the tank behind it, the massive tank behind it. We've got Big Black, which is my Chilabrachis Kern Kraken. Dark Earth Tiger. We've got Desert Hairy Scorpion here. Another Juvenile there. Mictopus Actrochromatus, Red Island Bird Eater. Some of my, one of my, another one. Silpatipus Lividus, Cobalt Blue. Various tarantulas in this section. We've got a True Spider. Um, which is a uh, Linofel Phallax. You got your hobby, your hobby classic, your Brachypalma Hamore. You've got a Chaco Golden Ears in here, Gramostola Polkapes, Petrunus Marinus, aka OBT, Ginger Ninja. Um, you got a Haplocosmia Himalayana in there. Um, a Petrunus Lagardi. Um, Tajaris Marshali. M. Balfouri. Monotropus. Scotch Island Blue Baboon. So that's half of the spiders. As you can see. Over there we've got an empty enclosure. Biggest spider in my collection, we have Pinky, the Lassiodora Para High Bonner, Pink Salmon Bird Eater, biggest tarantula in the collection. There will be a cinematic as well afterwards. In here, we have the Fluvo Evo, Evo 13.5 um, Nano Reef Tank, and that consists of the majority. Soft corals, with the exception of two hard corals. So, we've got a neon green Kenya tree there. We've got a firework clove polyp. We've got a Duncan, a Duncan there, a bubble tip Duncan there. Um, some turbo snails. We've got an old conch there. We've got a Superman mushroom there. We've got a Nemo. The common clownfish, the Ocularis clownfish, another turbo snail there. 
We've got another uh, mushroom there, another blue discoma. We've got some bumblebee snails, some star astrius snails in here, star astrius snail, turbos, um, some Nazareth snail, which spend most of the time under the substrate. We have got a shrimp in here as well, a peppermint shrimp somewhere. Oh, there's a, another Astria snail there. Then we've got our waving hand coral, pulsing xenia. So that is the Fluval Evo Nano Marine Tank. My first salt water tank, and it's looking pretty good. All the corals are doing well. Soft coral, hard coral, hard coral Duncans are hard corals, but the easiest hard corals to keep. Then the rest are all soft corals. Pretty easy. That's the Fluval Evo. 13.5 salt water version. This used to be a salt water tank. My very first salt water tank, but it's now <coughs> for a, another scorpion. Obviously over 20 odd different tarantulas and two scorpions. And a scorpion under the bark in here is Wednesday. My Asian forest scorpion. Only comes out at night time. Don't really see her during the day. But she's an Asian forest scorpion. So I've got an Asian forest scorpion and obviously the desert hairy scorpion. And the Pisa La Resistance. The 130 litre ecosystem aquarium with a varies of fish. And the reason why it's called an ecosystem aquarium is no water changes and the plants are the ecosystem. So we've got various plants in here and fish. Pretty much loads of kryptonites or crypts, different types of crypts. Um, back plants, Hygrophila simonensis 53b. We've got some Anubius nana. We've got some hair grass. We've got some Linophila sessiflora. Fish wise, we've got a bristle nose pleco. We've got some glass catfish. We've got cheese nip, the sunset balloon ram. We've got free albino corridora. We've got a Chinese loach that hovers in mid water. We've got a mixture of different colored shrimp. We've got a manos, a couple of red, a black, different types of shrimp in here. And we've got guppies, free female and a male guppy, tetra. Standard cardinals and your black neons, your shrimpy there, and that is it. And there's your glass catfish. We've got a candy loach as well in there. Various different fish. Ecosystem aquarium looks after itself. All I do every now and then is when the water evaporates, just soft top it up and clean the filter. And that is an ecosystem aquarium. We've got moss. Cheese nip mugging me off. What are you doing? Glass catfish are cool. Definitely recommend getting some glass catfish. And that is all the current animals I've got. So, just a run through again. We've got the 130 litre ecosystem aquarium with a variety of fish. Um, albino corridora, glass catfish, bristle nose pleco. Um, male and female guppies, cardinal tetra, candy cane loach, a Chinese hovering loach, black neons, plant wise, loads of crypts, Anubius nana, hair grass, Linophila sissiflora, obviously cheese nip, the balloon ram, Hygrophila simonsis 53b, and moss. And there again, we have Wednesday, the Asian Forest Scorpion. We have our Fluval Evo 13.5 Nano Reef. 
loads of peppermint shrimp with a mixture of corals, predominantly um, soft corals with the exception of two hard corals which are Duncan and obviously you have the, the, the Ocularus common clownfish various cleanup crew, peppermint shrimp, turbo snails, bumblebee snail, astria snail, nazareth snails orange conch and that's the only salt water tank currently at the moment then obviously over 20 various sized and types of tarantula a couple of arboreal mainly terrestrial and fossorial old world spiders and obviously a desert hairy scorpion in there <coughs> and last but not least the largest tarantula in my collection, Pinky, the Lassiodora Parahybona. And there will be a cinematic to end the animal tour. And that is currently all the animals I have so far this year. So as always everybody, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment as it really does help the channel out and stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon, bye for now everybody.